Hi everyone, today is going to be a, a little haul video, it's literally just three items but um, all of them are um, to do with watercolours so I do want to share them. Um, so the first one is not watercolour as such, it's um, about art in general and about being creative. So. This book is um, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's basically about creative living beyond fear. And I heard about this book um, in James Burke's video when his husband Steve was talking about it. And it sounded really interesting. And when he said Elizabeth Gilbert, it rang a bell. The name sounded so familiar. So he um the way he was describing the book was actually hitting and the nail on the head for me um what i'm going through creativity or, or the past actually the past 12 months or so when i started um going back into art and it all started with scrapbooking then eventually i started using watercolors again and i used to love art and um studied it at college so it used to be a very big part of my life, but then I um, stopped doing any art. Then I started again, maybe about seven years ago. Um, and then, then I would do those um, faces, like fashion faces, uh, illustrations. And then I stopped again when I had my son. And now I am really going back to it and, and trying to be creative and sometimes you have an idea in your mind but you don't know how to place it on paper or you're scared that it will look bad or or um, not to your standard and you end up kind of missing that uh, opportunity and you just let it go and from what i understand her book is about um is basically about that capturing the moment when you feel inspired and actually having no fear and just doing it and being creative whatever it uh, could be so then um a, f a few nights ago i went on amazon of course <laughs> that's where i buy all my books and um i googled elizabeth gilbert and oh my gosh i realized it's the author of eat pray and love um and when i read that book first it was one of those books that really um was quite significant at the point of my life when I was reading it. I was going through something quite um, difficult and it was the perfect book. It just literally helped me to get out of that. And it's just one of those books that really, really is quite important for me. So years later, the film came out. So I basically read Eat, Pray and Love before the movie even uh, was was um, scheduled to be filmed so um so once i realized who elizabeth gilbert is i was really excited and i thought i have to get this book because i have i had a feeling that this book will be another one of those very significant books in my life and she's a fantastic writer and there is just something about it where you pick up her book and it just reads so easy and so well um I would highly recommend it um, um, if, you, if you're going through something in your life where you want to be creative and somehow having uh, a little bit of an anxiety where to start, how to do it. Or maybe you have family members that are into highbrow art and you think if you're going to do some, I don't know, silly little watercolor faces that they won't uh, appreciate that and they will look down on it or whatever. Just you know, do it in your own privacy, lock your room and don't care uh, whoever says whatever and just do what pleases you and don't go show it to them and think that you might, uh, you know, get a positive response or something if you think you're likely not. So just do it for your own sake and find people who are like-minded and who would um, appreciate what you create and who would have the understanding of where it's coming from. So um, that is that. And I actually started reading it last night and it felt so good 
to be holding a, a real book in my hands and reading it properly because I tried so I had my son in 2015 and this is when this book was published and I'm not surprised that I've missed it because for the past two years I had zero time for books quite literally and I used to read a lot uh, I have quite a big library um, of all different types of books and I love books. I absolutely love it. I read for my son a lot now, but for myself, um, I haven't had the time um, to do that at all. So it, it's really good uh, to actually now dedicate some time before I go to sleep just to read a few pages. And um, I'm very excited uh, about reading a book properly for the first time in, in years. So thanks, Steve. Um, for mentioning this. So, next thing I have um, ordered is um, this paper block. So it's by Winsor Newton and it's a watercolor hot pressed paper 300 GSM. This size here it's 100% cotton and it's got 20 pages and it looks really really beautiful really professionally made. I love grey colour in general but the silver and the grey just it looks really good. Um, and so I was recommended this paper by a friend who is uh, into botanical art and um, I was basically saying that I'm looking for a paper that is hot pressed but still has some texture and it's not entirely smooth and immediately she said to me I should try this one and it looks really great. It looks exactly what I'm after. It's got this um, nice kind of smoothness to it but it still has a little bit of a tooth. I'll just... there you can see. As a comparison here I have uh, the same paper but in cold pressed and you can see that... Um, you can see the texture difference and this is my one of my favorite cold pressed papers. I love it. Um, I've gone through so many of these um, paper blocks in different sizes and it's just great. So um, I was pretty certain that I would like the hot pressed as well. So in comparison you can see that the texture of the cold press is obviously a lot stronger um, but there is still some lovely texture right here you can see in this angle hopefully um so yeah so i'm quite excited and if you're new to um paper blocks what it is it's uh, basically glued on three sides and partially glued on the fourth side which is where you um, insert the palette knife which is uh, one of these things. So after you've finished with your painting you insert it and then you pull it underneath like so all the way around and you um, release the paper. But so what um, block does because it's glued it's in a way sort of the same effect as stretching a paper with tape so that it prevents it from um, buckling uh, even further. And finally, ta-da! <laughs> I couldn't resist myself and I had to finish uh, my collection of Billy Shovel's books. So I have the other mm, three books. So this is her fourth book. So it was This book was first published in 2014. So this book is called Watercolour Flower Portraits. And um, as always, very beautiful um, illustrations as you can see on the first pages here. Um, very delicate, very beautiful. I haven't had a proper look yet. I haven't had time because I received it yesterday and I had a busy day yesterday, but it looks great. Um, more flowers and um, here is her palette that she was using at that time. This was the Winsor & Newton watercolors, uh, which she then afterwards tran transferred to um, the Sennelier watercolors. Um, but I was quite curious actually to compare, because in the other three books, um, 
in some of them there is Winston and Newton and then in the others there is the Sennelier. I think in her latest one it's the Sennelier. In the other three it's all Winston and Newton, I believe. But I wanted to compare the palette and the colours, whether they whether she had changed them um, uh, or not throughout those few years. So I will do that. I'll do a um, separate uh, review on this book so that you um, can uh, have a look and decide whether you need to add it to your collection as well. Uh, it's not expensive at all. I bought this one on Amazon, I think, uh, around £14, £15, something like that. And um, I... Um, I tried to buy it on Jackson's Art but it was sold out for a while now on Jackson's Art and I didn't want it to be sold out on Amazon and so I just decided I'm gonna just go and buy it and you know know now that I have all four books um, until Billy comes out with her next book so that's all good. So like I said it's a very short um, haul video but um, thanks for watching and see you soon.